So welcome back and uh, this time we're going to have a look at how the train knows where it is and what it reports to the ETCS track side. So how does a train know where it is? Well, it doesn't have Google Maps, GPS or anything similar. It doesn't have a geospatial view of the world. All it knows is how far it is from the last Belize group that it read. And that distance is only an estimate. And that becomes important when you're considering safety decisions. It also knows the direction it travelled past that last Belize group and hence how far it is from the Belize group and its direction. Everything in ETCS is relative. All the information sent to the train is relative to a Belize group. In level one, it is that Belize group that sends the information. But in level two or three or R, then the message from the track side over the radio also refers to a Belize group. The information that is sent is distances from the Belize group and the direction for which that distance applies. Each Belize group has an orientation known as nominal or reverse, and hence distances can be in the nominal direction from the Belize group or the reverse direction. Belize's make good reference points. However, putting two or more in a group provides more information and makes it easier to work out which orientation they are in. So let's take an example with two Belize's shown as the triangles. The first one is the reference Belize, and this one has in its header the messages it transmits, the field number position in group set to zero, that tells the onboard that that is the reference Belize and that all measurements should be taken from the centre of that Belize group, that uh, Belize. A second and subsequent Belize's will have a value of N underscore PIG of one, then two and three. So that gives us a group. And in the ascending order of N underscore PIG, is what is defined as the nominal direction. And obviously, the descending direction is the reverse direction. When the onboard reads the sequence of Belize group IDs, the headers in the messages, then it can establish whether it is passed over the Belize group in the nominal or reverse direction. So how is the train position reported to the track side? Well, in this example, we have a Belize group, which the train has passed over, and it passed over in the nominal direction. The train will report the estimated distance from the reference Belize in that Belize group to the front of the train. And it will report that as a variable D underscore LRBG. LRBG is the last relevant Belize group. It will also report the direction from the reference Belize group with Q underscore direction LRBG, DLRBG. And in this case, because it passed over the Belize group in the nominal direction, and the distance is in the nominal direction from the Belize group, it will report that as nominal. It will also report the orientation of the train relative to the Belize group. Is it facing the same direction as the Belize group or the opposite direction? In this case, it's facing to the right, same direction, so it'll report nominal. And lastly, it will report the direction the train is moving. If the train is normally moving forward, then this variable will be the same as the previous one, nominal again. If, however, the train was going backwards, then that variable would change. Now, sometimes a train enters a terminal platform so it, it read the Belize group on the way in and then turns round and is now heading back towards the same Belize group. In this example, it passed over the Belize group at the entrance to the platform in the reverse direction. When it reports its position, it will send the estimated distance from the reference Belize to the front of the train. It will also report which direction relative to the Belize group that distance has been measured. In this case, the reverse direction. 
It will report the orientation of the train relative to the Belize group. Since the it is going in the same direction as the nominal direction of the Belize group, that would be nominal. And the direction of the movement relative to the Belize group, assuming the train is going forward, will also be nominal. So how accurate is this origin? Well, let's have a look. We have a Belize on the track and we have a train which has a Belize reader. That Belize reader is continually transmitting down power ready to energise a Belize when it reaches it. Once the reader begins to pass over the Belize, the power will begin to initialise the electronics in the Belize to start transmitting the information. Once the power levels are acceptable, then the Belize will begin to transmit back data to the reader. And that data is in the form of a telegram of information, and that is repeated all the time that the Belize is being powered by the reader. So as the train moves on and even moves away from the Belize, data may still be transmitted and be received. It is up to the reader to work out when it is at the centre point of the Belize using the strength of the signal or any other measures it can take. So the reported Belize, uh, reported location is based on a Belize group and that's called the last relevant Belize group. There's always going to be some inaccuracy. We're not quite sure where the origin of the measurements will be because we need to read that signal. We need to determine where's the centre of the Belize. It's going to be a little bit uh, inaccurate. And reading a Belize at speed is quite challenging. So in order to get an accurate measurement, it's tricky. And typically you might be a metre or so out.